What's going on, everybody? Uh, I got back a little while ago from uh, the Lexington, Kentucky card show today. So, pulled up there, go walk through this hotel maze, and go to the room, and whoa, nobody there, right? So, I called uh, my buddy up that's uh, set up there, and he's like, no, it's on the other end of the building. I start walking through corridors. Some are mysteriously come upon it. So... I guess they had somebody else already booked for his room or something like that. I don't know the whole story, but it was kind of like a hallway that led to like this little dead end. It wasn't or like a real room to per se. Let me tell you, it was so congested. And I mean, like packed together. It was hard to get two people to walk down an aisle. So you know how you have like a tables to your left and right as you're walking down aisles. It was so hard to maneuver it was like a one person out maybe you could fit two through not that guy's fault he had to fit all the people and tables in there you know but man they did him wrong so um he gave me a flyer though they're at a different location starting next month so nice 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 um i couldn't really get a whole lot of video what you see real quick in the beginning was all i was able to get because I mean, trying to just to take pictures and look over and look at somebody's cars and make deals. People are bumping into you left and right and stuff. And, you know, to me, it was just, I was done. Um, there was a lot of vintage there. I would say nobody had any pre-war. I would say some of the oldest might have been like some 52 Tops commons and stuff. But it, it overall was really good. I made one, two, found three purchases there. I did pick up some vintage today. So let's hit some of the vintage pickups. Now a lot of this stuff, it does have creases and stuff like that in, but like this stuff here is what I would call my, oops, sorry guys, whatnot cards. Let me get it going here. So the Buck Belter, Stargill, Clendon, Lupinel, Rookie, it has like two little creases going up here, 68 tops. Uh, 71 tops, you got Bench Perez, Billy Williams. Here you got McCovey, Aaron, Lee May. It looked like a really good card, so you take it out. There's like a lift up here and over here. Uh, Yaz, Killebrew, Robinson. looked like a really good card until you look at it on the surface. And you start like going, you know, where you're lifting like that. You can see some markings here where somebody probably had it up against something pushed down the pen. But it's 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 really weird looking. Uh, it was this 70 Tops, Billy Williams. And then you got the McClendon and... Uh, Stargill here and there's creases going through it. I mean, they were just cheap stuff I picked up off a guy I know figured you know what the heck he also had these involved So you got 60 top skill Hodges, but there's a crease I could see now going up right here I was gonna mail these out to be graded um, Billy Martin Another 60 tops. So I probably won't with these uh, The Willie these let me go like this. Those are going to whatnot pal Willie Mays uh, 67 tops. This thing's in really good shape, and I was looking at pictures from SGC and condition wise on like what a three and four look like. Now, this corner here is kind of like where somebody might have jammed it, but you know, it might be a solid three on this card. I don't know. So, I may just mail this in eventually to PSA. Really thinking about it. It's no rush now on this because I was going to do an SGC order this week. And when I started looking at stuff, I'm like, ah, I don't want to. Uh, Kevin Durant rookie I found out there. This is the star rookies from Upper Deck. I think uh, PSA 9s are like 30 40 bucks in this card. I think I spent 5 bucks on to it. So I said, what the heck? You know, if there's ever another special comes around, I'm good. These are my big guys for the day. This was, oh... Seven okay, oh seven upper deck ultimate rivers and Roethlisberger dual relic. Let me see if I can get it without. I know I have it in like dual pla. There we go, dual plastic. Really clean carts out of seventy five. Figure what the heck, something different you don't see all the time. Upper deck ultimate. Let me get that focus back for you guys. Kind of there we go. So kind of cool piece to find laid about. This here I had to go through. All kind of stuff to check this thing out. Now, trust me, I trust my buddy that uh, gets these and stuff like that because we do our due diligence on, you know, Barry Bonds autos. This is going to go PSA. I just haven't decided which service I want to do, either the economy or 
regular. Regular would be 120 because I want the auto graded on this. This is 2002 Fleer. Guys, this is a big card. <laughs> it's like a three and a half by five. And just so you guys can see, this would be like a booklet almost. So there you go. That just gives you an idea. Uh, it is numbered out of 600, 118 out of 600. We did find one online. I think it was like 90 out of 600, but it was pretty warped. This here, I mean, when you look at PSA, they've graded two. I want to say it's a six and a seven on this card. This is going to be a really hard grade with how big it is. But if this could come back at 8 and be the top one out there, woo-wee. I mean, I saw a little bit of whiting up here in this corner. And uh, right there. But that was about it. The surface looked pretty clean. So really cool big jumbo piece of Barry Bonds. Uh, it's part of the 600 ro uh, home runs. This is the, I forget what they called it, like oversized or jumbo sized or whatever. And there, there was uh, regular cards of this that were like a box topper. Because I found those. Took me a minute to find it. And, you know, we talked about this where, the, you know, later on, Barry Bonds actually had his own stickers he was putting on stuff he autographed here. But you got to really do your due diligence on this stuff. I'll tell you. Being real, could it be fake? Can somebody just reprint this? But you got a piece of the wood up here from the bat. Authentic game used bat and autograph. Pretty cool. So we'll get that great. I just got to figure out how I'm going to box this up and send it off. If I want to do regular to get it back a little quicker. Or, I'll, you know, like one of those things I really don't care. I'll just send it out economy. And I may just do economy because I can't send anything else with this in the order because it'd be an oversized. Craziness, huh? I don't know what you guys think offhand, but uh, not too bad of a day out there. I didn't spend a whole lot of money today. Uh, I mean, the bonds is probably the biggest piece of the day out there. It wasn't a whole lot. Overall, I mean, my only complaint about the card show was just how tight it was in there. I mean, you, I tell you, you couldn't get two people down here. It was hard. You were like bumping into each other. And then, you know, if you're like me carrying a backpack, you know, you got to hand carry it like a purse everywhere. Biggest complaint there was in it, really of it uh, overall. But like I said, I only hit really, there was only a couple of tables I liked. A lot of people had some nice stuff in there. But to me, when I got people bumping in me left and right from behind, or I'm trying to look over a table and, my, you know, trying to worry about, did they just grab my backpack because they're so close and stuff like that there? Eh, I just moved on type deal. Just one of those things. I know a couple of dealers said with some of the other shows, so I'll take a look at their stuff there. But other than that, guys, um, not bad for being a show during the National Sports Collectors Convention Weekend. Um, I was happy. I mean, really with the Bonds piece and the Big Ben piece overall. And, you know, I always like to try to pick something different up for vintage. And the Willie Mays definitely caught my eye. It'll probably go out into maybe an economy submission. I'll take a stab at it. I mean, if it gets anything higher than a four, it'll be like break even from paying for grading and stuff on it. But all right, guys, appreciate you watching the video. Uh, SummerSlam tonight, SummerSlam tonight, in about 29 minutes for me. So you guys, by the time you get this video, probably already watching it. I'm going to go turn it on. You guys have a good, safe one out there. You need me? Hey, uh, real quick for you guys, uh, Cora's already st set up the trade night piece uh, for next month on Discord. If you still haven't gotten in Discord, you need the invite, email me. Email is always in the description. I'll send it to your Instagram, me, you know, whatever you want to do. Just give it, because uh, I'd like to get everybody I can into it for the trade night. I got to run a couple test runs here, probably mid-month somewhere with him, just to see how it's going to exactly work. And, yeah, see how it works there. Oh, I'm sorry, it'll be next month, September, September. This is only August, kind of, my bad. Sorry, guys. It'll be September, September for this, uh, trade night, September. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good one. And I'll see you guys next video.